Hi, Cancer. This is your 2020 New Year's reading. I've already shuffled the cards to make it a little quicker. First of all, we're going to choose or look at your stone cards and see what you got. You got calcite, which is empathetic and asks you to helps you to tune into your emotions. This is green calcite. Calcite comes in several different colors. And we have carnelian, warm and joyous, opens the heart, full of life, success. I love this little piece of carnelian. It's just beautiful. And we have a mica, which is calming and <laughs> removes stubbornness. This is just one piece of mica that I have. Very fortunate to live in Colorado, near the mountains. And all of the mica that I have is ones that I found. Okay, let's start with your cards, your first card, with the Sacred Path cards is Hekoya. Humor and opposites. You need to bring some humor into your life and maybe kind of stop being quite so stubborn. <laughs> and then we have the Whirling Rainbow. This is an awesome and very powerful card. It says that unity and wholeness will be achieved. Then we have the Vision Quest. Card, seeking and finding. And we have the nurturing card. This card has come up in so many readings. I think the holidays for everyone is a little bit stressful. It's asking you to take a step back a little and nurture yourself before you have to go back to work. And then we have the drum which speaks of rhythm and internal timing. In our Angels and Ancestor cards, we have the Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. We have the Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within yourself. The Direction Guardian. Choose your path. And you have Medicine Mother. Honor your inner knowing. On the bottom of this deck, oh, we have the drum again. Dream and Journey. We'll see what other cards you have, but this is very important. You have the drum on the bottom of both decks. On the Moonology cards, we have balance, practicality, and spirituality. A time to give rather than take. Your vision. Stay focused. And then we have your dreams need a practical plan. On the bottom of this deck we have, you are good enough. That's awesome. In our spirit oracle cards we have, Snake Spirit, which says it is time to heal. We have several nurturing cards here. I love this one. This is Dove Spirit. It says be peace. It doesn't say be at peace. It says be peace. Reflect that to everyone and everything around you. Porcupine Spirit. <laughs> Time for Beginner Mind. 
We'll talk about that. We have Dolphin Spirit. This and that are true. And on the bottom, we have Ant Spirit. It's time to collaborate. Okay, so we have several nurturing cards that ask you to take a little time out and take care of yourself. Cancers, I have a sister that is a Cancer, and they take care of everyone else, but oftentimes they neglect their own needs. So you need to take a little time to take care of yourself. Then these two go together. Our direction guardian asks you to choose your path. And how can you do that? By having a vision quest. You don't necessarily have to go out in nature, but it is a really good idea to do that. Spend some time with yourself and focus on what is the best thing for your life this year and hold that vision keep it tucked away hold on to it don't let anybody else detract you from that and then we of course have both the drum cards here and that's asking you also to dream to let go to dream and to listen to your own internal rhythm, like the rhythm of a drum. They say that the rhythm of the drum and why so many Aboriginal people play drums is that it represents the heartbeat of Mother Earth. And while you're doing all this spiritual work, you need to balance it with practicality because this card is asking you your dream needs a practical plan so it's all well and good to dream but once you find that vision and you hold that vision you need to start making practical plans you need to put things into action you need to make lists. You need to ask other people. Collaborate with other people. And it also said that, you know, it's time for a beginner mind. What does that mean? Sometimes we so overcomplicate things. This is asking that you go back to that childlike state where anything was possible and you had lots of dreams. The dolphin spirit said that this and that are true. That's the way that life is. Some things are changeable. And truths are different to different people. One person's truth is not necessarily the other person's truth. And then just a reminder, your very first card was to add some humor into the situation. Don't take everything so seriously. Our Stone People Medicine card is Coco Pelly. <laughs> and he's saying the same thing. Coco Pelli brought joy and laughter everywhere he traveled. But Coco Pelli also represents fertility, not just necessarily having babies kind of fertility, but it's to remind us that as we plant these seeds, as we go through the find our vision, as we find our dream, as we make steps to have a practical plan, all of those seeds will come to fruition. 
So now we're going to place our stones and we have the calcite, which is empathetic and in tuning into your emotions and expressing your needs. And we're going to, I'm going to put that one on balance, spirituality and practicality. Our carnelian, warm and joyous, opens the heart, full of life force and success. Let's see. We are going to put that one on unity and wholeness achieved. And then we have our mica, which is calming removes stubbornness, positive growth, and uh, flexibility. So let's put that on our little porcupine that said time for a beginner mind. Mica is also very reflective and it is a mirror for us to see ourselves, to see our soul in a childlike way. So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Cancer. Remember to take care of yourself and laugh a little. I hope you have a wonderful new year. Until next time, peace, love, and light.